and I'm out in Agora Hills, California at uh, Front Runner Outfitters, a uh, South African company who's going to hook up the beast with a, uh, with a proper roof rack. So I'm going to come in here and meet Steve Hayes and see if we can get this build on here. Okay, we're with Steve Hayes of uh, Front Runner Outfitters. Uh, Steve, how did you get into this business? You're a young guy. Front Runner? Uh, actually, I was working for another off-road shop about three years ago, and uh, I got a call with a job offer to come help and run Front Runner in the USA. It's mm -hmm. actually an almost 15-year-old company based out of South Africa, and we decided to open up the US operations that needed someone with a little bit of experience to help run for them. Mm -hmm. How many stores or outlets do they have in the states? Uh, well, we have several dealers across the states, but we actually only have one distribution center, which is here in Los Angeles. Do you know uh, what sparked the interest? Front Runner's been around for a long time. Why hadn't they hit the American markets? We had some distributors before that were bringing the products in. They're kind of trickling in and starting to spread out. Uh -huh. And um, I believe just as we grew in Africa and started to branch into other continents, you know, it only made sense to move over to the United States and the owner of Front Runner in South Africa, his daughter is here in the United States, oh. and we asked her to kind of oversee the, the startup of it and the day-to-day -day and things like that, yeah. So one of the most unique things about our rack is that it's made out of extruded aluminum. So there's T-slots in every part of the rack. You can take a regular M8 bolt, drop it into the opening, and then slide it to where the hardware needs to be. If the bolt won't spin in the rack, what you do is you simply slide the bolt where you need the accessory to go, put the bracket down, and then when you put the nut on top, you simply tighten the nut to the rack and it's done. How are you seeing, how is the market here in Los Angeles with such, with such a, a niche brand? I mean, you really got to be a hardcore guy or gal into the overlanding thing to know the brand and know its reputation. You know, I mean, you guys are just, in other places, you guys are just as big as ARB and those types of other brands, but in the States that is all Jeep-centric, Toyota-centric, even though you guys uh, specialize in Toyota-type packages, but hardly anybody's aware of uh, Front Runner. I believe it's because we're young in the United States. You know, we're kind of the uh, underdog here. Being only here with having, you know, the Front Runner run outfit only about three and a half to four years, I believe, if that even time here in the States, you know, we're still kind of uh, constantly growing. So um, Toyota is important for us. We have a, a, a large Toyota base, but that's definitely not necessarily that we specialize in. You know, we do a lot of Jeep, Land Rover, Mercedes, Toyota, right. Nissan, just about anything that we can get in here, you know. What's the next big uh, event here in the States for Front Runner? Are you going to... Um, the next big show that we're doing, I mean, we do the Overland Expo, of course, that's probably the the largest, like, just perfect uh -huh. uh, product representation that we have, you know, with our, our customers. Um, but we do a lot of local uh, RV outdoor shows. Right in the beginning of March, I believe it starts on the 3rd, it's the Fred Hall Show. Oh, okay. A very large show, it's at the Long Beach Convention Center. And we were there last year, it was a great place for us to introduce the products to customers that uh, definitely have an interest in our products, but don't know who we are, you know. So they're right. there looking at fishing gear, and then they also got a FJ Cruiser or some truck or something like that, and they can see our products and the camping gear and things like that, and it really relates to them. Now, I, I, I got interested in you guys because a buddy of mine had a uh, Slimline 2 rack on his 4Runner. Uh -huh. What is that your big seller, or what's your big... Uh, the 4Runner or the Slimline 2, you mean? Well, I mean, overall, in the categories of all the things that you guys uh, put out there... The roof rack is definitely our flagship product. That's what we try to base all of our products around. That's what we're the most proud of. We spend the most time engineering and developing. Uh, as far as application goes, last year our top seller was actually a Toyota Tacoma. The really? Cap Tacoma, yeah. Huh. Closely followed. For the bed, a bed rack? No, right on the cab. No kidding. Yeah, Tacoma, double cab, uh, 05 and newer, the, the most uh, right, recent the... model. Already has um, holes in the roof, which makes a really easy mounting, which makes them really slick. Uh, mounting rails that go to it made out of stainless steel and then we have the rack that goes right on top it just looks great on that truck but you guys do a lot of uh jeep wrangler a lot of jeep yeah they, they, i was going to say our probably very close second is the uh, jk unlimited um 
the, the newer JKs. Uh, we do the two door and the four door model, but the four door is probably more popular. And again, like the full size rack on the top of that, or yep. one in the back for the. Uh, we do the interior tray in the back. Mm -hmm. We do the rack on top, the so full length. We do a half length rack, and we also do a, a cargo slider that goes in the the bottom of the JK. You know, so you have like some really um, smart and sophisticated storage to a vehicle that doesn't have a lot of storage space in the back for the size of the vehicle. Yeah. Right. You guys also do. You guys do drawers. You do. Storage boxes, as you can see behind you. Yeah, the wolf pack's very popular. Yes, very simple South African ammo box, plastic. What's the size. What's the website that everyone can catch you guys at? Frontrunneroutfitters.com. Awesome. Thanks so much, Steve. Cool. I really I like my rack, and I can't wait to get out there and load it up. Sounds great. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.